welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'll be sharing some more fun and simple DIYs. For this project, I picked up this star dowel from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a wand, but I'm going to use it for Christmas decorations. So the first thing I did was grab some of my air dry clay. Of course, I have everything linked below for you that I'm using today, but I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of my clay and roll this out. Now, I just wanted this to be big enough to cover the star, so I just rolled that out a little bit and then I I checked to make sure that it would cover the star, but then I have this really cute snowflake roller that I got on Amazon. Again, everything's linked below, but I'm just going to roll this piece out with that snow roller and then I will cut the star out. Then I'm just going to use some of Dollar Tree's gel super glue to attach the star to that dowel rod. And I did go around and kind of shape it and make sure it fit well everywhere and then just pressed in those edges. I'm going to be using one of these little birch wood pieces from Dollar Tree for the stand. And I went ahead and just drilled a hole down in the center of this, just big enough to fit the dowel in. And I did end up cutting some of that dowel off because I just thought it was a little too tall. But I went ahead and added a little wood glue to the hole and placed the dowel down in there. Then I decided to go back in with some of my antique gold paint and just highlight the edges of this star. And then finally, I'm going to be using this beautiful gold velvet ribbon that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to tie a messy bow around this. For this next project, I picked up these little campers from Dollar Tree back in the beginning of fall. They actually still had them just a few weeks ago, but I did go ahead and remove the little sticker. I just used my blow dryer and then just a wet rag to get the rest of it off. And I did cut off the little bumper part in the back, but I left the tires on because I'm going to cover those up later. You could cut those off if you wanted to, but I did go ahead and give both of these two coats of my white chalk paint. Now for one of my little winter hats, I'm going to be using a stencil that I got from Amazon and the other one I'm just going to be using Dollar Tree stencils. I'll have this stencil linked below for you, but I went ahead and I marked out where I wanted the top piece to be and then I am adding some Mod Podge before I put my stencil on there and I just found that this helps so that the paint doesn't leak under your stencils. Then I just take my paintbrush that still has a little bit of Mod Podge and I just go back over the stencil once I have it on top of there and then I decided to use some of my metallic antique gold paint for this. You can choose any color you want or even any design but I just thought this was really cute and then I did go back in and use some pieces of the stencil just to kind of fill in where there was a bunch of blank spaces and then here for the second one I am just using some Dollar Tree stencils to make kind of like a sweater pattern on here and then here's where I'm going to cover up those tires. I just used some Dollar Tree craft sticks on the front and the back and then I will cover that up so that you won't be able to see it. So for the bottom part of my little hats, I found this just Chanel yarn from Dollar Tree and that's what I'm going to be using to cover up this bottom. And I'm just gluing as I go and wrapping this around that bottom part to cover up the tires and those craft sticks. Then for the tops of these hats, I wanted to make some pom-poms, so I am using that same Chanel yarn, and I'm just making some really fluffy pom-poms for the tops of these hats. Then all I had left to do was just trim these down and hot glue those to the top, and here's how they turned out. This 
This next project was actually inspired by something I saw in Better Homes and Garden magazine, but I found this little Christmas tree at Dollar Tree and I just removed all the tinsel and then took it outside and used my kind of copper rose gold color spray paint to spray that. And then I grabbed a bunch of Dollar Tree smaller ornaments and all I had to do was fill this up. Now I do wish that I would have bought some of the teeny tiny ornaments to put in the very top of this but I still think it turned out really cute and then I just took a cardboard box and marked around and I'm gonna cut that off and hot glue this to the bottom. And that was it for this super easy Dollar Tree project and here's how it turned out. project was inspired by these Kirkland's Christmas wall pockets that I saw and I just love them. So I picked these little tins up from Dollar Tree and it was really easy to just give them a squeeze to make some wall pockets. Then I went ahead and used some of my white chalk paint to go over these. I think it took about three coats to actually cover the lettering and the stenciling on here. But once it was dry, I took a pencil and I just started drawing drawing Christmas trees. These are very easy Christmas trees to draw. I kind of just drew the trunk and then I just drew the limbs coming down off of each of these and I ended up doing a couple of them. Just be careful and don't smear your pencil marks as you are drawing these trees. But once I finish drawing all of my trees, I'm going to take some of this Aileen's matte finish acrylic sealer that I get from Walmart and I'm going to spray this tin. Now for the second tin, I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm going to be using those Amazon stamps again and I wanted to use the two little reindeer on here. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp both of these on the front of the second tin. Now I made sure that the ink was dry and then I just went ahead and I wanted to draw some more of those trees but make it look like they were coming from behind the reindeer and then once again once I was finished I went ahead and sprayed these with the sealer then I went ahead and tied a couple knots in two ends of a piece of rope so that I could hot glue this to the backs of my tins and I'll be able to hang these Last year, I made these gingerbread houses with some Dollar Tree houses that I found, and I decided I wanted to redo two of these. So what I did was go ahead and paint these white, and then I'm going to use some antiquing wax to turn these back into wood. Then I just traced out my houses and cut those down, and then I traced out some windows and some doors so that I could make this look nice and neat. And then I'm going to flip that over and color the backside with my pencil, and then I'll be able to put this on top of my houses and just use my pencil to trace over those lines to leave the markings on the house. And this is honestly my favorite way to transfer stuff onto other things when you don't have a Cricut or a stencil to use for a particular project. Once I had that finished, I just went back in with one of my white paint markers and I'm going to trace over everything that I left on the wood. Then I grabbed some of Dollar Tree's Cricut removable vinyl and I'm going to make a little heart shape out of this and I'm actually just going to cut this out and use this to paint over so that I can leave a little heart on one of the doors. Then I went back in and just used some of my white chalk paint and painted over that and I also painted the other door just plain white as well. 
I just used one of Dollar Tree's little Cricut tools to remove that heart and leave the imprint on the door. And then I decided to dress this up. I had this heart ribbon from Dollar Tree from I think Valentine's Day. And so I cut down one of the little hearts and put it in the center. And then I just added the rest down the sides of the roof line. Don't worry if it covers the top because we're actually gonna be making roofs for these. But I went ahead and hot glued that onto there and then for the smaller one I actually just cut a piece of that same heart ribbon and glued it across the center where it had that open space. And then like I said, I wanted to make a roof, so I just used one of these Dollar Tree wood planks and I cut that down into a four equal pieces and I'm gonna paint these white. And then while those roof pieces were drying, I just wanted to add a little more detail to my gingerbread houses. So I used my white paint marker and I just made some dots around the door and around the smaller one top window. Then I just went ahead and hot glued the little roof pieces together. And finally, for the tall one, I just felt like it needed something else in those blank spaces. So I used a Dollar Tree stencil and my paint marker to add the little design. And that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.